All right, guys, we are here. Obviously, podcast number five, I think it was. I uploaded four earlier this morning. Um, so, obviously, today's stories are we're going to talk about Bud Light getting the Death Star treatment. We're going to talk about a, a Spanish Prime Minister who is full of hot air. And we're going to talk about how being physically fit is bad for your social credit, apparently. We'll use that word. But uh, apart from that, I'll give it a couple of minutes. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So obviously video, podcast number five for the day. Guys, I just to confirm, we do these every morning at 10.30 Australian time, or roughly the same time as this is aired. Um, so if you want to know when they are, obviously, yep. And they are on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday morning. And uh, I'm also thinking about doing a live show for like the Sunday night, or Saturday night maybe, or something. Saturday night's a bad night, actually. Friday night's a bad night, too. Sunday nights are good, but then I've got the show on Monday in the morning. I have to work it out. All right, let's jump into it, guys, because as some of you may know, Bud Light has been in a world of hurt. Ever since the the Dylan Mulvaney basically boycott, uh, their stock price has dropped. It has plummeted. Uh, Let me see if we can actually... Bud Light stock price. So uh, it's actually Anheuser Busch is the actual stock company. Now, this is over the past day, right? And you know it doesn't look too bad, but when you go back and do six months, oh, okay. So it was hanging around the. $63 a share. Uh, at the moment, it's down to about $56 a share. Um, now, obviously, this is not the only corporation that has decided to, quote, go woke. Uh, Target has all done the same. Last I, I heard, they had wiped basically about $30 billion off their, off their market cap. Um, if you own shares in Budweiser, sue them. Because they they now are breaking the facility duty. I can't pronounce that. Um, Basically, they're not operating in the best interest of their investors. And you would actually have a legal case against them. Um, Because once they saw the price drop and tank, they kept doubling, tripling, and quadrupling down. um, Which is basically against the law. Um... There's a national law that says that you're not allowed to, like, you run your company into, into the ground if you have, like, investors and stuff. Um, so they're, they're actually do, they are actually breaking that. And you would have a, a actual really good case. I'm not a lawyer. Talk to a lawyer, but yeah. But uh, it, it's getting worse for, for Bud Light. Because Costco is going through, and Costco have, or people have noticed that there's this at Costco, right? So this is Costco here. And you will notice that there, that that little, that little asterisk up there, right? You're probably like, oh, what does that mean? I wonder what that, what, wonder what that means. What that means is, is that they are no longer ordering Budweiser or Anheuser Busch Budweiser beer. That that little star there, the little little asterisk. Basically means it's it's a it's a, like a, a code that's used in marketing in, in Costco apparently, which means that they will no longer be stocking this product. So what does this mean for Bud Light? Well, basically Bud Light is losing their their spot for Costco. So photos shared on social media show that Bud Light has allegedly received Costco's so-called Star of Death. The small asterisk at the top right-hand corner of the item price tag, which the retailer uses to signal a product will no longer be restocked 
once it is sold out. Images shared on Twitter showed the price tag for Bud Light's beer at different Costco shores, all marked with the Star of Death. It's unclear where the stores are located. One of the pictures shows them being sold for $14.97 for a 2 times 12 pack, which Twitter users said was Costco's practically giving butt away. Um, because I believe there's also some sort of like buyback or something that's happening at the moment. The photos were shared as the boycott against Bud Light by conservatives. It's not just conservatives, but anyway. But the boycott against Bud Light customers angered by the sponsorship deal with trans activists and influencer Dylan Mulvaney. Now, the reason why the, quote, conservatives were upset had nothing to do with the fact that it was Dylan Mulvaney. It had to do with the fact that, that Dylan Mulvaney has a younger audience, uh, literally children, and basically they were doing a alcohol-sponsored product uh, to their younger base, right? And and even the Bud Lights, the uh, the marketing, the PR firm, came out and said that they were trying to lose the the older generation of Bud Light drinkers. That they wanted to go to sort of a more younger base, which sort of marries up with what you know Dylan Mulvaney and younger base and stuff like that. So it, it, um, even here, Newsweek has said. Early this year continues with a significant negative impact on the brand. So according to the new sales data seen by earlier this week, and we do have it here. Uh, Bud Light has seen a percentage drop in revenue for sales for June compared with the same time last year. So are they going to show us the graph? No, of course not. So, uh, it's saying here, new sales data seen by Newsweek has shown that Bud Light, still feeling the impact of the boycott, has seen its percentage drop in revenue for sales for June compared with the same time last year. So you're probably wondering, what's this drop? Well, it showed a four-week period ending in the 1st of July. Bud Light saw a 28% decrease in revenue sales as well as a decrease in volume. The number of units of beers sold was down roughly 31.2% compared to the same time last year. Now, the money side of things doesn't really mean anything because obviously prices have gone up since then, inflation, stuff like that. Um, but they've also gone through and they've also been giving away their beer with like discount coupon, uh, coupons and, and you know like buybacks and stuff like that too. So even with it being 31.2% I think that might be very 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 sort of favourable towards Bud Light um, because there was that time over I, I believe it was over the 4th of July which actually would be after this so but there was a time during the uh, during June when Bud Light was actually giving away beer. Uh, let me see if I can find out. Uh, Bud Light. So Bud Light to give away $10,000 every week as a part of the biggest summer campaign ever in bid to end the crippling boycott. Um, so here's the video here. Someone talking about it. Uh, just wait for this, this stupid ad be giving its beer away for free, following its disastrous partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. The beer company is being mocked online for offering a rebate on unsold cases worth just 0.98. America's flagship beer brand and its parent company, Anheuser-Busch, has been in damage control since Mulvaney shared a series of partnered posts with her 11 million social media followers on April 1st. The brewer's latest attempt to claw back consumers. So this was in May. 
So I don't know how much of this 31.2% of their, their volume being down is actually accurate or if it's actually worse than that, but they had these months where they were giving away free beer. So it actually could be worse than what they're claiming um, because they basically had to give away the free beer just to sell units or give away units. And if that's also taken into account here, then that's obviously a big issue too. Like for example, if I turn around and I give away 5,000 cases of beer and then someone says to me, well, how many beers did you, did you, uh, how much, beer did you give away or how much beer did you sell and I said oh, I gave away 5,000 you know that's still units that have moved right it's just obviously I haven't got the money for it because I gave it away so to speak right and that's where I'm wondering if these 31.2% is also taking into account that as well um, but yeah like I say the, the main reason so the main reason for this boycott is just because of the fact that, that people just don't want like Dylan Mulvaney to sell beer to kids. Um, like I said, Dylan Mulvaney has a has a a very young audience of children, and they basically said to her, "Do you or her him whatever you want to call it?" Uh, said, "Do you want to do a an alcohol sponsorship?" So you know, and now obviously it's morphed. Now it, it's just. Now it's just seen as the as the the beer for for you know for the uh, less masculine we'll just say um, and believe it or not nobody wants to to go out and and get a beer and drink a beer that your mates are gonna laugh at you for All right so yeah. Costco says the Star of Death for Bud Light will not be restocked. Sorry. Costco says Star of Death for Bud Light will not be restocked. Tweet one user. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha, yeah. Newsweek could not verify with Costco stores that would not restock the beer brand and has contracted the retailer through the contract available website on Tuesday. Normally when media says they've contacted someone, they just send an email out five minutes before they write the article. Some Reddit users have pointed out that some Costco still stores might only uh, not restock 16 cans shown in one of the photos, uh, uh, but continue selling the 36 packs. Okay. To be honest, look, even if they're, they're getting rid of the 16 ounce cans and yeah okay but you know like at the end of the day you know, it does make you wonder why it's, it's a little bit look if it if it isn't because of dylan Mulvaney and the the boycott it is a very very big coincidence right after their their brand is not selling People are not going through and not buying it. They're not lining up to get the beers when it goes to like obviously at sporting events and stuff. We're seeing photos where like sporting events are empty with like lineups for like all the other brands, but Bud Light's empty. I I think it would be a very very big coincidence if they just went through and and just all of a sudden weren't restocking it because you know we want to have a different volume of can, but we'll see. As for this, guys, personally, look, it's it's possible they're not getting... Although this one is the 12-ounce. That's the 12-ounce there, I've seen. But continue selling the 36-pack of 12s. Well, that's what that is. 36 of slash 12-ounce cans with the star. So that's not true. But guys, yeah, I think, I think at the end of the day that Costco's probably getting rid of it. Um, you know, like they say, look, they're, they're, they're realizing that they don't sell. Um, yeah. Shelf space, it's a, it's a premium. And if your product's not selling, well then guess what? You lose your shelf space. Um, I used to work in retail, I know exactly what it's like. But, uh, and obviously there's that one other thing too, just very, very quickly. Um, people have been going through and making links between the prices 
And uh, so, for example, if something's been sold at $14.97, apparently the 0.97 means something else. Uh, apparently, the, the if it's 0.99, it's full price. If it's 0.97, it's um, it's on special. And if it's 0 or 0 0.1 or whatever it is, then it's um, discontinued or whatever it is. There, there's some sort of code apparently people are realizing when it comes to the prices. To be honest, I think that the biggest thing that you can actually go through and look at is just this here. The, the little asterisk, I think, tells you everything you need to know. And that's on the 36 and 12 ounce cans. So... But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below.